Once the plugin is installed, you will find the Marketplace menu in the WordPress dashboard. Click on the Dara submenu. This is the account page of the plugin. Initially, this will be empty. To add up the Dara's account, click on the Connect Account button. Now you will need to select the region of your account and then click on the Authorize button. Now you will be redirected to the Dara's login page. Here you will need to enter the Dara seller account details and click on the Authorize button. Now you will be again redirected to the account page of the plugin and will see your account has been added in the account page. Now, after clicking on the Configure button, we will move forward with the flow of the plugin. This is the Category Mapping section. As you can see, we have different sections in the plugin, Schedulers, Category Mapping, Profiles, Manage Products, Orders, and FAQs. You will come to know about them one by one. If we talk about uploading the products, we can do it in three simple steps. First is mapping the WooCommerce category to the Daris category, second is to fill profile data and final step to upload the products. Here we will need to select the WooCommerce category and map it to the respective Daris category. After mapping, click on the Save button. This means all the products of this particular WooCommerce category will be uploaded to the mapped Daris category. Once the category is mapped, a profile will be created in the Profile section. We can also click on the Refresh Category button if the dropdowns are empty or if we want to refresh the Daris category in the plugin. Now we will move to the second step, which is Profiling, or we can say to fill profile data. This is the Profile section in which all the profiles are visible. Profiles are created whenever a category is mapped. We can also delete the profiles according to our needs. Next, you will need to click on the edit link, and you will see some fields coming in the profiles. These have been categorized as required fields and optional fields. All these fields are related to Daris and when the product is uploaded. The data will be prepared from these fields only. As you can see, some of the fields are already filled like SKU, regular price, stocks, etc. You will need to fill the rest of the fields by mapping meta keys and attributes. As you can see, there are two input boxes coming for every field. Only one of them needed to be filled. The left side boxes are to be used for static values, which means a value that will remain common for all the products coming under this profile. The right side boxes are all dropdowns and can only be filled using meta keys or attributes to manage the dynamic data from the product. Meta keys attributes. To select the meta keys or attributes for mapping, you will need to click on the meta keys and attributes list. Here in this, we can search with the name of the product. Once we select the product from suggestions, all the meta keys and attributes will be displayed of that product. From here, we can paginate to the next or previous pages to find the meta key and can select them. After selecting the meta keys, you will need to click on the Save button, and now these selected meta keys will be available in the right side drop down boxes to map for the fields. After mapping all the fields of the profile, you will need to click on the Save Profile button at the bottom. The profile will be saved. Next section is the Manage Product section. In this section, all the WooCommerce products will be visible. Here you can find different types of filters which will help in managing your products. Also, a search button searches on the basis of the product title. From here, you can upload the products. To upload the products, you will need to select the product through the checkbox and then select the Upload Product option from the bulk actions and then click on Apply button. It will take some seconds to load and then a message will appear of either success or fail. You can select multiple products at a time. Similar goes for updating the products and deleting the products. You can select the bulk action and process the products accordingly. This is the order section of the plugin. Here all the orders from Daris will be rendered. You can see a fetch order button. Clicking on it will fetch the orders from Daris into WooCommerce. The plugin divides the order in two parts, synced orders and unsynced orders. 
Synced orders are those orders which are created in WooCommerce as an order and will be displayed in the default WooCommerce order section. While unsynced orders are just a list of orders that were not created in the WooCommerce order section due to SKU missing from WooCommerce. To get the order created properly in WooCommerce the SKUs present in order should also be present in WooCommerce product then only the synced orders will be created. From the plugin, we can also set the order as ready to ship or cancel. By clicking on respective links, we can manage the order accordingly. You can also print the airway bill and download it into your system. You can also see the synced order in the default order section of WooCommerce. To differentiate the DARA's order, there is a column order source, which will show a DARA's icon for every DARA's order. Now, we move on to the scheduler section. In this section, you can set the schedulers up. Here on this page, you can set the auto-update price and stock schedulers, which will auto-update the inventory and price of products at the regular interval of time that is selected. Also, you can set the auto-fetch order scheduler, which will auto-fetch the orders at regular intervals. From this section, you can select which status of orders you want to fetch from Dara's into WooCommerce.